something that I've been studying over over the last year uh, or, or two maybe uh, is is the topic of reading reading your Bible, and um, it became it became very evident to me uh, uh, probably. Uh, it would have been the Atlanta Soul Winning Marathon. Uh, I was saved for a year and a half, two years, something like that. And I was paired up with Caleb, which a lot of you know. And and I, I've i grown up in church my whole life. And, and supposedly, you know, I had read my Bible some. But um, I was ashamed that day because Caleb not only knew the Bible, he knew it by memory. And, and he was just... You know, well versed. He knew where all the scriptures were, and so anyhow, I, you know, I listened to some sermons, and and then I started just writing scriptures down that I would come across when I was reading my Bible, and I started really reading my Bible, and so I'm just going to read some of those uh, because they were very encouraging to me. Obviously, uh, you know, First Timothy uh, four thirteen. Uh, says give attendance to reading and second Timothy is one that a lot of people know it says study to show thyself approved uh, Hosea says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge uh, the one I'm going to read is in Ephesians 4.14 I'm going to read the whole verse it says that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of man and cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive and that's exactly what happens when you don't read your Bible. Uh, you know, obviously, soul winning. You you run into people that try to twist scriptures and stuff, and and a lot of those don't really know the Bible that well. Anyhow, they're just trying to, you know, trip you up or whatever. But I, I have a lot of family that are uh, religious. They think they think they're saved, uh, but they believe in works salvation, and so they twist the Bible. To, to make it say that and I believed that for so many years I believed that and and then when I started reading for myself studying for myself then you know I soon found out that you know that's that's not what it says and so I would I would just encourage you uh, you know I've got you know obviously the Bible's full of, you know, of, of scriptures that say, all these things. Let me just read a couple more. Uh, the, the Bereans, they were more noble because they searched, searched the scriptures daily whether these things were so. Amen. Amen. Uh, Colossians says, let the 316, let the word of Christ dwell in you. Amen. And uh, John 663, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Uh, Psalms 1 2, his delight is in the law of the Lord. Uh, and you know the one the, the one thing I like about uh, the sermon that Pastor Anderson preached on this was the fact that the New Testament says so many places Jesus is rebuking the Pharisees. It says, "Have you not read? Have you not read?" And that's they, they weren't they weren't reading. Hmm. And there's no excuse. You know, I I thought that uh, I could never read 15 minutes a day, and then I got rid of my TV. <laughs> and, Amen. Yep. And I started reading, and I and, and mm-hmm. I put a timer. I set a timer, and I would start reading 15 minutes a day, and then pretty soon I was reading 30 minutes a day, and then 45 minutes a day, and I still had time to read. And and when I started reading that much, I I, I would forget about the timer, and I would be, you know, you're in the, you're in the middle of a chapter, you would read to the end, and then it kind of well it continues to the next, and so you just kept on reading, you kept on reading, and. and uh, so I was telling my my uh, first cousin, he's Pentecostal, and I was telling him how that reading the Bible changed my life. Yeah, and right. he said, "Well, I, he said I can't do that. I'm uh, he said my, my attention is you know I, I'm very like ADD or whatever." <laughs> and he said I, I couldn't. When I mentioned 15 minutes, just read 15 minutes. He's like. Are you kidding me? He said, I could never read 15 minutes. <laughs> and, and, and the King James Bible, he said, you know, he has, uh, what, he has all kinds of different versions that he reads out of. But anyhow, uh, I just want to encourage you all to, to read. Uh, it, changed, it changed my life. It really did. Amen. And when you read it once all the way through, that's a, that's a good accomplishment. And 
but you don't even, you know, you're, you're scratching the surface. I read it through five times. I still, I'm still finding things, still finding things. And then you, then you, I was listening to a sermon uh, that Pastor Anderson just preached in the last month or so about some of the symbolism in the Bible. And I had read those stories, but it didn't like click to me mm -hmm. as to what all those meanings are. So anyhow, God bless you all. Amen. Amen. Amen.